Hi everyone! I have something super small that I want to give you all for the new year um, and these last days before we start the new year. A mini ritual that really helped me um, to start the new year with a lot of awesome power and focus and intention and it helped me actually invite those things into my life. Hi Rayesh! Happy New Year! <laughs> um, it helped me invite those things in my life um, while having fun. It was super powerful. Um, so before I start explaining this uh, fully, I want to actually share this in a few groups that I'm part of to spread the magic. So, um, and before I do that, I just want to tell you um, if you also uh, know others um, who would benefit of this to have a soulful little thing uh, that's creative and very powerful to help you start the year with intention and uh, focus for your dream business and also just to feel really fulfilled and happy in your heart. If you know anybody, um, please invite them and share this video along. So I am going to see if I can share it from here. Hmm, let's see, technical little thing. Let's see if that works. Here we go, invite friends to watch. So it looks like I can invite friends, but not directly share into a group. So I'm just going to invite a few friends that pop up here for me directly. And I have one friend who specifically asked me to share this ritual. Um, so I'm also going to, <laughs> I'm also going to invite that friend so she can, um, she can catch it. Cause um, I know, uh, it's uh, last year I had several women join me to um, to do this ritual with me here on Kodiak but then also long distance in different places in the world it was actually really magical to um, yeah so we all did it together um, on our own and uh, a lot of awesome things happened I heard really cool stories from everybody so let me see if I'm still alive <laughs> Okay, I'm having a hard time moving this. Okay, here I am. <laughs> All right, so I am talking about a let go and invite in manifesting ritual that I did and whatever name you give it, it doesn't really matter. Manifesting is quite a, a jam power uh, fashion word almost these days, but um, it is a very soulful ritual, but it can literally help you to call things into your life that you want to create. So how did it go? It's actually super simple and you can make it as elaborate as you want. But you think of three things that you want to let go of and three things you want to invite into your life. So with my um, example, it was something I wanted to let go heaviness in all my work. Just this feeling of that things have to be hard. That was one thing I wanted to let go of. And two things I actually don't even remember anymore, which proves that I did let them go. <laughs> um, and then um, you think of three things that you want to invite. And then you, uh, you sit down and you create items that represent this. So in my instance, I took barbecue sticks and I started crafting. I made them kind of inspired by arrows. I just added some things to them that for me represented the item that I'm calling in. So I'm sharing this with you. Um, this was uh, an item I called in. It was, um, I asked for leverage, uh, fun, and magic in my year. And so these were the three uh, sticks I created for that. So so these are very elaborate. I actually have friends who, who didn't make it so elaborate. They just thought of three words and then one friend, for example, she wrote it on a toilet paper roll. <laughs> um, per, each toilet paper roll had a different item and then she burned those in a fire outside. So, so there's so many ways you can do this, but let me boil it down to the original inspiration and then you can take it wherever you want to take it. So the original inspiration was uh, from a Native American ceremony and they called it like an arrow ceremony where they had those uh, three uh, things that they wanted to let go of. They took three arrows and I believe they um, buried them in the ground in one circle um, and then they had the three things that they wanted to invite in their life 
Drive and um, took three different arrows and went to a different site um, that was facing a different direction in the sky and then they would uh, do a ritual there. And I believe they um, they put like ashes around them or something. So uh, it doesn't really matter how you do it. Um, what matters is the intention and that you really feel um, it matters to you. So um, yeah, so how I played it out for me, um, I took the arrow uh, ceremony as an inspiration, but I didn't have arrows or want arrows. <laughs> so I ended up uh, taking just whatever craft items I had. So I worked with barbecue sticks and I can show you here with this magic stick that I represented magic. I just put a bead on top and then I had, um, I took hot glue and I wrapped um, a bead around it that um, seemed to represent magic for me. I added some gold sparkles with it. So as totally playful, but um, what happened as I was creating this, the whole time as I was working on this and thinking that I'm calling magic in my life, right? So there's a lot of intention while you create something. So there's a lot of, um, this is actually a manifesting sort of uh, inspiration where um, this is how manifesting works. One of the big components is having your heart in it, really putting the emotion in it and focusing on something very clearly. And you do this with this ritual, right? So just creating something where you put the intention in and have fun with it and focus on it. That alone um, really sets the universe in motion. Uh, it's all energy, right? Um, if you're into quantum and that resonates more with you, it's the same thing. It's like what we put out there, that kind of vibration we draw in, right? So it is quite magical and awesome. And even if you don't fully believe all those things, it doesn't matter. It makes you feel good to take time for yourself and um, sit down and um, just have a moment where you don't just like react and hustle or do things, but um, you focus on what really matters to you. And um, yeah, that ritual really helps you set that into, um, into motion for yourself from your heart. Um, so what I did with my friends here in Kodiak, I'm going to share that I took my three arrows that I wanted to let go of and my three sticks that I wanted to uh, invite into my life and uh, we made a little campfire by hey Kate so cool to have you this is also for you this inspiration I'm sharing a um, let go and invite new ritual um, that I'm gonna do on Monday um, uh, for a new year intention ritual so what I did here, we had a um, campfire by the sea, and I took my uh, the three items, well, all the six, six arrows that I had, I took them with me, and the items that I wanted to let go of, I um, put in the fire, and I burned them. So that was my kind of symbolic sort of thing to, hi Cindy, <laughs> my symbolic action to um, to let go was like using fire to, um, to yeah, to commemorate that. And then I didn't think about them anymore. I just let them go. Um, and then with the three sticks that I made for inviting in, um, I personally um, actually chose a spot that was um, significant for me and meant something to me in nature. I found a spot that was really beautiful here in Kodiak by the ocean which not everybody easily gets to um, and when the sun rises it would hit that spot so I planted uh, duplicates of these sticks I made two sets because I like them so much I planted them in um, in the ground there and then I just like sat there and did my intention um, by planting them and um, I think I didn't didn't even do anything like throwing anything in the water or something but like yeah, that's what I did. And some of my other friends um, kept it simple. Like uh, one, as I was sharing, she just took um, uh, three toilet paper rolls and wrote on each what she wanted to let go of. And she burned that in the fire. Um, another one uh, was actually a former client of mine. She, she came up with this really cool inspiration where they actually did... Um, uh, take um, a bow and arrow and they went out and shot arrows um, after setting the intention and she did it with um, several women in her family friends and um, daughters and they took photos as they did it and they were actually they got really emotional because it, it's really like heartfelt stuff where um, 
it can mean a lot, you know, like um, you can sh like literally choose the things that matter most to you. Anything that doesn't serve you anymore, you can let it go. So it can be super sacred and awesome. It can be simple or elaborate. Um, it can be whatever you want it to be. But um, yeah, so I wanted to share that inspiration to invite you all also to to uh, to take a moment for yourself um, to think what you want to create in your life. And um, in that instance of following your heart, what doesn't serve you anymore? Like what has been disempowering you or robbing you of energy? Or it can be anything from your life really that you just don't want to kind of let go off and you don't think um, it's useful for you anymore. Good time to shed those things and good time to call in for the new things you're welcoming in your life and then this ritual can help you bring them into your life. So if you do anything with that, tag me and share photos if you like. Come to my groups like Celebrate Possibility for Soulpreneur Women or, um, or message me if you have a question about it. I'm excited to, to see what comes up for you. Super awesome stuff. Okay, have fun. <laughs> Happy New Year, everyone. Bye-bye <laughs> <Bye> now. <laughs>